Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I want to show you how to use Domo to create a visualization that shows the top five or six people for each date uh, over a date range that are maybe be the top contributors and excluding those smaller contributors there. So you're just kind of seeing the main people that are uh, driving the most. Uh, or seen this question a few times now, and though I thought I'd create a video on how to do that. So let's get started. So you see here, I've got uh, just kind of a basic chart. You've got a date here in the x-axis and then what your metric is, is revenue in this example, summing up, and then the sales reps as each of the series in here. And it can be a little bit noisy sometimes. So one thing you wanna do uh, to be able to just kind of say, hey, show me the top three or four or five people uh, for each date and exclude these smaller contributors in here. So one thing to do, uh, one, align your uh, date range by what you want to uh, summarize that by, whether that's by week or month or quarter, because then in the beast mode, you need to match that. So I've got it set at week in here. And then your base mode, you're gonna create a rank and you can do that using a Windows function. And it's gonna look like this, it's gonna be rank, parenthesis, over, and then what you need to partition it by, and that's gonna match your date range again. So if you switched your date range to month, you'd wanna do probably month, and then also probably also a year in here in case you're going across um, years on something. So it would be, you'd partition it by these two things. I'm gonna back up there and go back to what I had. And then you're gonna order by the sum of the revenue that would, what's in your y-axis and descending. So then that'll give you your rank uh, for every uh, person in here. Then what you do is just drag this into the uh, filters and change it to less than or equal to. And let's do six for instance. And so you'll see we draw, got rid of the smaller people uh, but you have over here, if we look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven because uh, it's judging it by each date uh, increment in here. And so in one increment, we actually, Kai uh, is making it into the group. So that's why you have more than what you're limiting it to because it's, again, going by each range. You could do this as a nested bar as well if you wanted to be able to see those overall totals as a, a gray bar, uh, but uh, then having those smaller individual totals in there as well, you can view that. So this is uh, pretty handy to be able to do that. You could even make this a quick filter if you wanted to allow people to um, slide and choose what uh, amount, what top group they want to um, just show. So. Uh, that's probably a pretty quick video on here, but uh, that's something I thought I'd put together and hopefully you find that helpful. As always, just uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.